So here's a really simple network with three machines on it. I'm going to say that A and C are hosts and B is a router. At the moment, as things stand, A and B can communicate and B and C can communicate. But the way we understand things at the moment, A can't talk to C, even though it's pretty obvious to us as humans that these two are connected. Why not? Because A needs to know we need to tell A that in order to talk to C, it has to go via B. And this is the process of routing, advising machines where to send their traffic so it can ultimately end up in the right state. Um, the problem with it is that doing uh, ha having a complete route table um, is very simple for a simple network like this. But if you've got a network of trillions of connections like the internet, we cannot add all possible routes to a single machine on the network. It would be too much for any one machine to store. So what we have instead are default routes. A default route is if I've looked up and checked all my other routes and none of them match, I'm just going to send my traffic this way and hope that it's the right place. You can see this by typing IP route on any Linux based computer to see the route table. Um, routes are selected for traffic based on how well they match, so the most specific matches first, then the defaults are used, and if no route matches and there is no default, that router will drop the traffic, it will delete it entirely. So you might think that de having default routes is always a good idea, but it can lead to some pretty big problems um, for static routes. In particular, routes can get stuck in loops. So there are three major types of routing. We used to do a lot of static routing, where routes were fixed and designed and optimized by an engineer. Practically, that was very difficult and limited who could use networks. So now we use dynamic tools for routing like DHCP, which is the topic of another video, which dynamically assigns IP addresses and routes. And the more up-to-date version of that is mobile routing, which deals with mobile devices.